Today's episode of the XP is brought to you by Loot Crate, monthly gaming and geek gear brought directly to your door. Sign up using the link in the description below. What's up attackers, long time no see, Nicole here with your MMO Gaming News Recap. This week was actually quite busy with the H1Z1 launch, a big announcement from Elder Scrolls Online, several beta launches and more, so let's jump right in. The XP starts now. January 29th of last year is when Sony Online Entertainment's president, John Smedley, teased a photo of an eerie looking house that would eventually become H1Z1, a zombie survival sandbox MMO. One year later, players can now officially play H1Z1 with an early access pass. However, all was not well at launch. Typical with early release launches, H1Z1 had tons of problems with players unable to log on to servers to the frustration with weapons being found in premium-based airdrops, which by the way was promised not to happen, and more. Things seem to be running a lot more smoothly now, and you can find tons of streamers testing their skill against the zombies as we speak. Well, that didn't take long. The Elder Scrolls Online is officially dropping its subscription model for the PC version of the game beginning on March 17th, the day after my birthday, less than one year after launching with much speculation about if or when the change would take place. No, the game is not free, you still have to make a one-time purchase of the game, but then we'll be able to play without restrictions for as long as you like. Tamriel Unlimited, as it will be called, will be supported with special optional downloadable content available for purchase and an in-game crown store for convenience and customization items. But regular updates and new gameplay will be offered to all players to enjoy free of additional charges. What are your thoughts on the Switch? Have you been waiting for this change? Let us know in the comments below. PlayStation 4 has welcomed Planetside 2 players to partake in the closed beta test. Beginning on Tuesday, January 20th, the initial wave of invites were sent out to players to test out how the massive multiplayer shooter will play out on consoles. The PS4 version of the PS2 is not just a simple port, but a full-fledged console first shooter experience. Players who haven't got an invite yet can hang around their email inboxes or, or even find one of the Planetside 2 producers on Twitter and beg for it. You heathens! Skyforge showed off its latest class, the Gunner. A ranged AoE damage specialist, the Gunner takes to the field with a multi-purpose set of guns that you'd normally not find in an MMORPG. A side cannon, machine gun, flamethrower, and rocket launcher are just a few weapons at his disposal. This class also has a really cool evasion skill where you can chuck a grenade to a location and teleport to that spot and, you know, call in an airstrike or something on the enemy you just juked. A class introduction video was released alongside the announcement, but you're watching that right now. At least that's what Kirk told me was happening right now, but I have no idea because I can't see the videos playing over my voice right now. No one ever tells me anything around here. Several games have jumped into beta this week, and we're not just talking about H1Z1. Nazgoth, the free-to-play PvP game from Square Enix, jumped into open beta this week with a double XP and a new vampire class, The Summoner. Star Trek Alien Domain, a browser-based online strategy game, has started its second closed beta on January 22nd and will run until February 6th. Rise of Incarnates, a 2v2 arena title, will debut on Steam Early Access on February 4th, and a new minigame arrived in Warframe called Worm E Us, which is a simple side-scrolling minigame that's inspired by the Warframe world with intuitive mechanics and some pretty cool controls. To play it, you'll need to be logged into the actual game itself, visit your arsenal, and equip the worm. Enjoy! That's what I've got for you today. Please leave this video a like and a subscribe, etc. And I'll catch you guys next time I come in. Bye! I get to put something in your mouth again. Can I put it in my hand first? No. You know how this works. Oh I shove it in your mouth. Please choose your words wisely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Lean back. Oh, what? Whoa! Well.